down for me. You've got to be sitting down when you hear this. Just be careful you're not on one of those motorways that you're going too fast because I'm about to break some news. Well, I reckon it'll leave you a little shocked. Now, tonight, Mossman Council is going to debate an Aboriginal land claim request. Now, the Aboriginal land claim is for a piece of land that is, well, how would I describe it? Let's just use the word prestigious. Now, the way this has come to light is all very strange and secretive. I think it's important to give you context and run you through it. So the local news site called Mossman Collective had a look through the agenda for tonight's Mossman Council meeting. Now, the agenda is publicly available on the council website, 177 pages long, but on on page 176, there's a, quote, confidential report for an Aboriginal land claim. Weird, right? It's confidential. So the council document states the request for an Aboriginal land claim in Mossman will be a closed session, so the public can't look at it. It says, quote, the manager governance recommends that the meeting be closed to the press and public for that part necessary to consider information concerning the nature and location of a place or an item of Aboriginal significance on community land. Now, Mossman Collective put it perfectly when they said, well, where is it? And why the secrecy? Where is this piece of land? Mossman Council should be open and honest with its community and its ratepayers, right? Because it got us thinking, is there an Aboriginal land claim on, I don't know, Taronga Zoo, Clifton Gardens? We called, I I called a whole bunch of Mossman councillors and they said, hey, look, I'd love to tell you, but I can't. We are sworn to secrecy. It's really, really important. I know that people have been in contact with the general manager at Mossman Council. Again, sworn to secrecy. Nobody would tell us what the location is. So I did a bit of digging, and it didn't take me long to find out. (laughs) This afternoon, I can reveal that the Aboriginal Land Council are putting a land claim on waterfront land at Balmoral Beach. Yep, there's a land claim for Balmoral Beach. Can you believe this? Let's just sink that in. Let me sink. Let's just sink it in for a bit. All right. Balmoral Beach. One of the most prestigious parts of Sydney. Everybody knows it. Now, it's a block of land just behind the Esplanade, which is the main drag that runs parallel to the beach. So the block of land that the land claims on is opposite the boathouse restaurant and the playground. So it's a block of grass and bushland between Botanic Road and Plunkett Road, where the Balmoral Tramway cutting is. This is prime Sydney real estate. Prime. I've spoken to two local real estate agents in Mossman today just to get an idea of what it'd be worth. They both reckon at least $100 bucks. Now, directly opposite the Balmoral Boat House, on the Esplanade, 4,000 square metres, full 180 views of Balmoral Beach, and there's an Aboriginal land claim on it. 100 million bucks, they reckon it's worth. Now, I'll let you make your mind up here. Who knows? Maybe the Land Land Council will never touch the land, and they just want to, I don't know, as part of Indigenous history or whatever. No one really knows why they want it or what they're going to do with it. In which case, you could argue, does the land claim really matter? But you can't deny it must be nice just to be able to lob up and say, you know what, I own that piece of land, even though it's worth a hundred million bucks and has been maintained by Mossman Council, it's been looked after by Mossman Council, and it's been used by the public for many, many, many decades. But now the Aboriginal Land Council wants ownership of it. One three one eight seven three, has this ever happened to you? Or have you seen this in your local area? Because I know that the land councils all around New South Wales are some of the biggest, biggest landlords in this state. And I've spoken with councillors at other councils. They tell me they're dealing with land claims like this all the time. All the time. There's a councillor from a council, it will remain unnamed for the time being, it's in the eastern suburbs. And he told me, look, I'm pulling my hair out because there's a land claim every time we try to change the use on a piece of public land. Now, we've tried to contact the Aboriginal Land Council directly. We haven't heard back. Uh, Obviously, we'd love to speak to them about this. Uh, We also touched base with the former Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, of course, the former member for Warringah, so it's in his patch. And Mr Abbott told me this, quote, I'm a little reluctant to comment on a land claim that I know nothing about, except to say that there is 
nothing happening in this space that's not likely to ex- accelerate and intensify should the voice be established. That's from Tony Abbott. There is nothing happening in this space, Aboriginal land claims, that's not likely to accelerate and intensify should the voice be established. 131873, I think. If you live in Mossman, what do you think? Give me a call. Send me a text, 0460873873. Does this alarm you? And to everyone else, have you... Have you had this thing happen in your neck of the woods? Look, I'm not trying to start anything here. I'm just telling you. The Aboriginal Land Council is making a claim on $100 million worth of land at Balmoral Beach in Mossman. Mossman Council have an obligation to tell the community about that. Now, I am doing it instead.